with all this talk about getting ready and everybody's prepared you know you have your food and your bug out bag whatever whatever people are talking one thing overlooked most uh, most often is have you forgiven have you forgiven those who have wronged you be it in your heart or in person have you have, have you asked their forgiveness have you sat and thought about your wrongs where you might need to ask somebody for their uh, uh, forgiveness I mean be prepared on every level I mean this is uh, this is hugely important you know don't hold grudges I mean the Bible says if you if, if you murder which is hate I mean if you hate somebody in your heart give it up give it over drop it it's 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 not yours it's, and, and is it that important you're still here you're still alive regardless of what that person's done to you forgive them regardless and I know the list is long and in the list is quite serious in some cases forgive them Paul murdered Christians by the by by the number and he was shown grace he was shown forgiveness his sins weren't counted against him he asked for forgiveness I mean he begged it and he received it and I know people argue and say but but you don't know yeah I know if it hasn't happened to me directly it's happened to somebody I know which is the case with the most of us if not all of us forgive them for whatever reason be it for whatever reason I mean uh, whatever drove them whatever led them to do what they did to you it certainly was was an evil spirit and it was uh, and you know it could be argued oh they're a product of their environment whatever the case may be don't hold it don't hold it free yourself too it is in the now don't hold this resentment this hurt this pain hand it over to God he said he will give you a, a, a you know a sound mind and a sound body you know you're born again in Christ you are a new creature a new creation don't hold the old man the old person look at that I just slipped into being PC there the old person don't hold on to that that's not who you are anymore a new creature in Christ yes murder is not physical murder per se I mean it is but it's also hate I mean it's just a matter of hate and unforgiveness Jesus forgave you for what you've done you know forgive me uh, uh, my sins forgive me my trespasses and those who trespass against us right I mean it's covered in, in everything is covered in that prayer Jesus said pray like this pray in this manner you could pray that prayer or pray in this manner chances are those people aren't uh, sitting there uh, uh, hurt or angry at what they've done to you they might be tormented in it or they have a tormented spirit a perverse spirit whatever it may be but they're not thinking of you individually they're thinking about themselves these people are about selves self-fulfillment self-pleasure self uh, centered is what they are and that's a spirit forgive them 
when you go before Jesus, go with a clean slate. Don't hold anything. And, and you may not have the opportunity because the person's dead and it might not be serious. They, they've died and you can't ask them for your forgiveness or, or, or their forgiveness or, or, or vice versa. You can't tell them how they, how they hurt you. But you can in your heart. Hand it over. Don't carry these things. These are burdens that, that, uh, that we ought not carry. They're heavy and they'll slow us down. And to help us uh, to, to, to lose focus. Again, in what time we have left, what, however many months or years it may be, enjoy yourself without carrying that garbage. It's not yours to begin with. Please. Experience, and I, I, the word experience isn't right, but um, just know, I mean, uh, receive all that God has for you now, here in the now. We, I can't even comprehend uh, 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 what heaven's like, what the, the concept of, uh, of, of being in, in his presence. I, I don't I, I, I can't fathom a guess but I can tell you right now the freedom from not owning garbage that's that's not yours to begin with from carrying pain and hurt and resentment and anger that's not yours let it go ask God for peace ask him for comfort the Holy Spirit is your comforter he, and that's uh, do a study on that uh, it, itself. It, it you know it, it covers a, a, a array of things. I love you guys, each and every one. I haven't met you. I haven't met any of you. But I want you to to receive what God has for you here and now. And again, it would bear fantastic witness. People know, people can see. Well, he's happier or she's happier. That bears witness. And we might, we're not gonna have the opportunity. We're not gonna have the means. We're not gonna have the means of communication one day. And we're going to be surrounded with such neg negativity that we're is, we're going to allow we're going to feed off of it, and and is, is, that hate in us is going to grow. Don't allow that. Don't allow the outside world to 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 influence you. You influence the outside world. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ. Be that lamp. Bear witness. God bless you. Love you.